Welcome one and all, I'm Keith, this is Game to Please, and we are back in Fallout 4. Conservationists only live once here, pretty much outside home sweet home, because last time we were finally able to get back after a fun-filled episode of Lots of Murder, but also lots of improvements, because now, as you may have noticed, X01 power armor, plus the added benefit of it being X01 power armor, mark whatever it is with my armor skill and science skill and we've got ballistic we've it was just a huge set of improvements from last time we were able to get ballistic weave after getting the dia cache we were able to pick up an x01 power armor suit right next to the dia cache so honestly pretty good it would have been harder for me to get to the dia cache um had they not actually sent me to a location I don't remember having ever gone before. It's always Medford Memorial Hospital or Hub 360. Never the random collapsed, random nuclear explosion there. That's fine. Yeah, never the random collapsed uh, skyscraper, which was a first for me. But yeah, today I have all of the improvements I need. I've got my guns. I've got enough ammo to uh, pretty much riddle every single synth I find with about a bazillion bullets. So we should be set. But besides that, yes, this is going to be revenge. Kellogg is going to die. And besides taking on Kellogg, if we get through it, I think we'll be just fine. But yeah, if we get through that, then we'll be um, meeting uh, Brotherhood and Force, let's say. Yeah, we'll um, probably try to make our way off to the Pridwin. That'll be interesting. But besides that, yeah, there's a lot more that is going to come together because immediately we need to start planning a trip into the Glowing Sea. And we'll probably put that together this episode as well. We'll see. We've got raiders. Raiders are fine. Especially fine to kill when they've already killed some Mirelurks. How dare they? Quick grenade should do it for them. Oh, wow. That raider took it like a champ. Now, of course, if you don't know, you can always just head straight to Fort Hagen after having dog meat essentially be uh, activated to lure you there. And he takes you on a very, very poor choice of paths because that has things that we can't even, you know, really take on. So us being a conservationist, we need to do our best and avoid the ghouls to the left, the super mutants to the right. Mole rats would be pretty much along the way if I went any further left. Uh, there is a death claw at some point, a stunted yaogua. Yeah, it, it's just a mess. The dog does not like other animals for some reason. And I was just looking through all of the quests that I've picked up. And I should get those off the map right about now. Otherwise, it might get a little annoying. And no, I will not be helping to defend Red Rocket Truck Stop anytime soon. The one piece of the puzzle that I normally have that I'm leaving out this time is adrenaline. I just woke up, I just did a bunch of work on my stuff, and I have a couple diseases, but no adrenaline whatsoever. I think we'll just have to deal with it. We don't have any level ups, we don't have any way to increase our sneak attack damage by getting ninja finally, if that's ever going to happen. But I think we'll be just fine. We've got a pretty powerful gun, we've got another pretty powerful set of guns. Uh, the laser rifle I've outfitted um, with... Yeah, Mr. Freeze is now pretty pretty well set up. Overcharged, improved sniper, recoil compensating, long scope, fine-tuned beam focuser. Yeah. I'm not going to be using this as a VATS weapon. If I need to take enemies on in VATS, well, that's a problem. Um, even though its whole thing is the critical is activated in VATS. But that's fine. If I need to take something on in VATS, I have this gun for that sort of thing. A uh, lot better. Let's see how many I can get. One, two, three, four, five... Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Ten shots in vats. That is completely reasonable. But no, let's start out with something nice and easy. Actually, let's give the runout debut for the laser sniper rifle. Couldn't even kill a turret. What a shame. Uh, probably because I wasn't actually sneaking at the time. Let's see what happens this time. Much better. Take them out just fine. 
Now I don't get to go to the blood clinic, unfortunately. Too many bugs and there's not enough things there worthwhile that, um, yeah, crag mine. That bloatfly can be a bloatfly over there just fine. But what we need to do is get a few bottle cap mines. And with those, we can move on to the next turret. And the last turret. Let's make sure we don't miss. Hitboxes can be a little funny. There we go. Okay, and we're just going to loot the turrets. We're not going to enter the top because, of course, the dog is going to appear with us once we get inside. And we'll need to send him on his way. And the only way to do that is to not have him be barking and trying to attack some random synths. So that's why we enter the fortress, Fort Hagen, down here at the bottom. And unfortunately, we've we've already picked up Tired. That's no good. Let's get in here and immediately step out because the dog's going to be around. Okay, follow dog meat complete, immediately leave, and dog meat is our current companion. Now, dog meat, wonderful. You get to go somewhere else. We finally got dog meat. We didn't talk to him the first time because we didn't want to activate the doing, mole rats over at Red Rocket, but might be best if we split up for a while, boy. They can go back home to yeah, Red Rocket. Go help uh Red Rocket defend itself. Good luck, dog meat. You'll do just fine. Now for real, let's go into Fort Hagen. So in here, we've got a few things that we need to remember. Um, biggest thing is this first area is going to be where we have the biggest chance of failure, uh, taking a bunch God. of damage that we didn't need to take. So what we need to do is either have a fallback location, uh, which is just at the bottom of the steps pretty much, or be really, really precise and sneaky all the way. And I say, why not both? Simply setting down mines has activated caution for some enemies, so good. Good start there. The sneakiness aspect of things, not really going to plan. All of the beeping. Still some synths looking for me, apparently. Now, I'm going to definitely take some berry mentats here in a second. I just don't want to waste them. But immediately into caution again, this is getting a bit ridiculous. Okay, I'm getting a little worried. Okay. Not quite sure how Bethesda decided to Bethesda today, but that was a little worrisome. The turrets seem to have their own berry mentats. Not great. Not great whatsoever. Okay, let's try laying mines as a true last ditch effort down here. Caution is caution, that's fine for now, as long as you get back into hidden. Is someone present? Okay, we're all set. We can move forward while being in hidden. I'm going to test this one. Hello? Hostile sensor reading detected. Okay, so apparently everything is fine except that last level is just a little too close for some reason. I'm not stealthy enough. I have no clue why it keeps me in caution for that one. Next step, drugs. Lots and lots of drugs. We're going to start with a berry mentats. Stingwing Filet and the Deathclaw Steak are pretty much last-ditch efforts if I really feel like I need them, but I think we'll be fine taking some silence shots against whoever... whoever is... Okay, I'm starting to see them. There's one over there. There's some over here. Oh, immediately into caution. Good. They are perceptive, aren't they? I guess I am um, bright red, so I cannot hold it against them for noticing me. Moving over to fragmentation grenades, I think that'll be good. And don't activate the robot, it's not on your side. 
I think that'll be good for... Oh, screw you. Okay, just blow up that first one. Let's start moving forward. This is going back and forth a little too much even for me. I am no longer detecting an enemy presence. Okay, legendary synth. Gotta keep my eye on that. Just a normal synth. Let's take the that shot. Okay, and... Who wants to be next on my list of synths to kill? There's one right there, two over there. Actually, only one. A synth strider is not going down. Okay. I think that's a good enough reason as any to follow up our uh, appetizer with another course of appetizers, a psycho. And take the shot. Oh, hello, you. Oh, yep, no. Don't mind me, don't mind me, don't mind me. Okay, this has gone actually pretty bad because I'm in caution. Two mines right there might do it. Two mines right there might finish him off. But honestly, legendaries, they behave differently. At least he's not going to be a robot that explodes. But this is scary. It's time to switch over to the combat rifle. I know you were still gone. Excellent. There we go. Oh, he's literally coming down the... Okay, this is strange. He's coming down the stairs. Two cautions. Come this way. There we go. So, legendary got taken out. Stuff still in caution because of the explosion, but... We should be fine. And with enough patience, let's see what they have. Punishing leather right leg. 10% melee damage back on the attacker. Okay, Synth Strider. Headshot. Level up. That's all good. So, where do we stand? We've taken out the Synths on this level, except in the far room. I'm going to get rid of this turret. Caution from over there. That is fine. I feel like this has taken quite a while. Going to follow up with a shot on them. And now I'm going to hide like a coward. Now I understand. You are hiding because you fear death. I do, actually. Now back up here. A couple synths. Hopefully we can take care of uh, nice and easily. Yeah, just two synths. Honestly, back-to-back -back shots. Is okay. Not sure how the single shot didn't kill this synth over there. This is a pretty powerful gun. A few shots there, and I think we can start looting the top. And the guns and bullets. And more looting down here. Don't forget Tension Trigger and Tesla Arc. Okay, and we took so long that it's literally been enough time for us to run out of... Yeah, our drugs, and we've literally uh, picked up weakness. Didn't even notice that. But we should be good. There we go. Since Strider did not Possibly. go down. I knew that was going to be a thing because I ran out of Psycho because I took Psycho so I could kill the Synth Strider. Here we are. They were wise to flee. And you were not wise to give up so easily. There we go. Now two turrets and I think there's nothing else. Okay, do not underestimate laser turrets. I know you are still there. Throw another grenade, just get this done with. Throw another another grenade. I am equipped with the most advanced institute sensors available. Yeah, synth leader. 
They're not doing so hot. Let's take them on. Please come out. Okay, looks like that is everything up here at the very least. Okay, a few enemies to deal with. Another legendary. I guess I should not complain. I was actually complaining earlier about too many legendaries in the form of animals or creatures. Let's throw a grenade over there. You're on your way back. How interesting. Oh, really? That didn't... Didn't end you, did it? Oh! Okay. Definitely take some more precaution from the fact that you're actually getting shot at. You cannot escape detection for long. Okay, they don't seem to be moving up on me. They're taking their sweet time getting back over here. But yeah, they don't look too hot. Oh, hello. I, yep, I was used to Barry Mentats being around. Thankfully, you don't have a gun. Cloaking metal left arm. Crap, because being hit in a melee attack is just what you'd want to avoid entirely. But the good news is we've cleared out the first area and we can move forward pretty safely. Nice. The rest of this is just long quarters that we can uh, take on enemies very carefully, very safely. And yeah, this was the first initial bit that was going to be the scariest. Let's grab our mines that didn't need to be used. And drop everything that we picked up outside. Okay, all that taken care of. We need to drink and eat up. We are working under borrowed time all of a sudden, though. Overtired is when I really start getting to, to be worried about our combat effectiveness. So let's not diddle-dally. We've got a trap right here and a turret downstairs. And a turret. And now let's deal with Kellogg. Okay, from here, we've got Strider. One Strider, two Strider. Okay. And Patroller. Okay. If you know the corridors, then you can't be surprised by what you find here. And okay, one more. It looks like it's going to be a tough one. Headshot will have to do it. There we go. Now, moving forward, there's going to be turrets. You're pissed off, I get it, I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not gonna go your way. And one quick turret kill right there. 283 experience from a single turret kill with Idiot Savant. Pretty good. And you did not seem to care. I'll just take him out. Good enough chance for me. Detective. Now, I really don't want to have to take another Barry Mentats, but... Don't know how close the other synth is. Did not do it. And those laser turrets, make sure you don't get shot by them, because they are heavy hitters. There you go, and let's do some batsing. Seems to have worked. Just need to shoot it one more time. There we go. Pick up another fusion core. Now, this next area... Well, it's the area that I always am unsure as to how to really prepare this situation. So I'm going to throw two frag mines here. I'm going to throw two frag mines here. I'm going to throw two frag mines here check down here 
Yeah. Let's throw fragmine. You got guts and determination. That's admirable. Another fragmine over here. Okay, synth trooper takes the headshot like a champ. Let's not even mess around with that. They should just be patrolling at this point. Okay, should just be patrolling is what I would say. But now I've learned that they are not simply just patrolling. So let's follow back. Okay, there's still at least one. And he's not doing so well. Let's take all the 90% chance shots. Come on. There we go. Now we could just keep moving forward, not even deal with the uh, bobblehead, but there's a bobblehead. I like bobbleheads. I'll just do one down there and we'll see. Where the heck do they spawn? I, I think it's around the corner over here. You know what? Also, just for the sake of it, frag mine right there. Using a lot of frag mines. So here's the bobblehead. Yes. Now they haven't spawned yet, and then all of a sudden they spawn right there. That's fine. And we can go in here. And in here, some more fragmentation grenades. Honestly, we're running out of uh, fragmentation mines. Please come help. Okay, there's one. He's gonna blow up here in a second. Apparently not. And I failed to help defend Red Rocket. I feel ashamed. Okay, somehow he blew up that one and not these ones. Sometimes I don't really understand frag mines. Okay, so they definitely didn't spawn over here. They spawned somewhere right around here. Because it was pretty instantaneous that they died. Now it's just turrets and synth 1, 2 plus Kellogg. Shouldn't be much of an issue. It's not too late. So Stop. turret one. Turn around and leave. Turret two. You have that option. And turret three. Say that. Okay. Now we just uh, input a code. Unlock a bunch of things. Pick up a bunch of loot. Oh no, I'm over encumbered. I wonder ever what I could be over encumbered from. Over here, nice little stealth magazine. Um, honestly, which one is that? Squeaky floorboards, whistling face paint, squeaky tiptoe through the tulips. I, I forget which ones are which, but it's one of them. And more carrying capacity issues. You made it. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. So, talking, talking, talking. What weapons would be good for talking? Well, the fat man is a good weapon to be talking with. Hello, hello, hello. Most resilient yep, indeed. Something, 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 resilience. But... Does your head have a certain resilience to a critical fat man? Let's find out. No, no it does not. Okay. Good to know. That was a bigger boom than I was expecting. And we pick up his stuff, we pick up another magazine, and we pick up some lovely info that says something along the lines of, Sean is at the Institute. And with that, we can be on our way. I think on the way out there is... Yep. At least one antifreeze bottle, and with the glue, I am suddenly carrying too much. Thankfully, I've already got a fat man, so that can go. We've already killed the turrets. But more importantly, we've already made friends with the people who are going to make their grand entrance here. People of the Commonwealth, we are the Brotherhood of Steel. Very good entrance, Brotherhood of Steel. Very good entrance. So, let's just be clear though, Brotherhood of Steel, you don't plan on actually murdering any ghouls, super mutants, uh, animals, bugs, anything like that, right? 
right? I, I really hope so. Otherwise, we might have issues. Now, currently, I think I need to just bite the bullet and grab as much of this stuff and take it home. Grilled Radstag, plus 25 carry weight. Actually, no. Let's just do a... Do I not have buff tats? Well, that is an oversight on my part. Take a single buff out. Honestly, punishing leather right leg, you don't even get to come with me. 4.6 to 60 value, no. You're useless. You always have been useless, and you always will be useless. So, with that action-packed part to start the episode, let's get back to Hangman's Alley, drop a bunch of stuff, and get some sleep, because I'm already overtired, and I think, uh, let's see. Yeah, adrenaline at 40%. Worthwhile, but not worthwhile enough to be going around overtired. I'm going to actively avoid that situation as much as possible because I don't want Brotherhood to spawn in on top of a bunch of super mutants. Dang it, a little too close. I hear it in the distance. And we've got, yeah, Brotherhood doing Brotherhoody things. Let's try to get out of there as quickly as possible so everyone despawns. We can't save them from the Brotherhood. We can only despawn everyone from the Brotherhood's Wrath. Eh, Mutant Hound. That means super mutants. That means we can't deal with them. Okay, home sweet home. I feel like because it is eight or at least past eight um let's sleep now and then we'll have access to a few of the traders we haven't seen for at least a little bit 12 hours should do it now we can go tell nick the good news we killed kellogg i'll take a look sure feel free to test the grips so over at diamond city what does arturo have these days so arturo doesn't have much but we'll finally pick up a left arm and sell them a bunch of stuff. Sell some stuff to Myrna. And time for some Nick. Nicky, I'm just asking for your opinion. It'd be a great quote. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? What happened? Kellogg did have my son. He was working with the Institute. He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. He's dead, Jim. He's dead, Nick. He wasn't gonna talk. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. Uh-huh. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Now it's time to go talk to Amari. Anything I can do? But of course, before talking to Amari, I might as well go get the Brotherhood the met and dealt with. Now, I won't be able to do really much with the Brotherhood whatsoever, unfortunately. I'll uh, turn in some stuff to Scribe Halen, take a vertebrate over to the Pridwin, and loot it to hell. Get some experience out of it as well, just uh, meet and greet pretty much. But yeah, it's going to be a dead end pretty quickly. Port Strong is something I simply cannot do because they ask me to kill a bunch of super mutants to progress with them. You'll never guess what I forgot. Don't forget to grab your guns. Much better. Picked up a fusion core, and now we can be on our way to the Brotherhood. Guns and all. And back at the police station. Find it yet? Here it is. Great. I'll always want more tech. So once you're ready. Affirmative. Great. Here's the area. Be careful. And the next one. Now that the Pridwin's here. Rayburn Point. Don't recognize it because it's probably, yep, over at Far Harbor. It was only a matter of time. We can take the fight to the Institute. Paladin Dance. Cavalry's arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. So the Vertibird will get me over to the Fridwin, and then from the Fridwin we'll be pretty close, even though separated by some water, to Dr. Amari. Seeing that uh oh. Put it to good use. 
Hopefully those ghouls are fine, otherwise the Brotherhood will be very, very naughty in my eyes. Oh my! The super mutant that I always kill. I didn't kill this time. Oh, that's... That's freaking wonderful. Scripted vertebrate can't get shot down. Never even thought about that. And a little bit of experience from discovering the airport puts me over the level up. You don't look much like a soldier to me. Uh, what am I supposed to look like? It's the flame paints, isn't it? Looks can be deceiving. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, initiate. And most impressive. Let's just grab all of the loot. And Maxon's done with his speech. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Hopefully more than I cared about your speech. I can see that. We're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I won't. I'll do my best to live up to it. So Shadow of Steel 403. Nothing. There's Step shelter and night. supplies at the police Even station. Even though they locked me in this blasted cage. Looks uncomfortable in there. So there's Tegan. I don't know about Scribe Noriah. Proctor. I think she so, loves her little you're the new zoo. recruit I heard about. Uh, too much. Uh, not what I was expecting. I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. And wonderful Ingram. Happy. Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. In any of it. And Quinlan. This isn't that sort of examination. Have you ever had sexual relations? Uh -huh. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood? Uh, no. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. And with talking to four people, pretty much within 50 feet of one another, 336 experience is ours. What can I get for you today? That lovely Gauss rifle right behind you, that, that'd be wonderful, but I'm guessing that's not part of the uh, buying sure options that you're going to give me. Smile on your face. Nope. Miniguns, missile launchers, Gatling lasers, no Gauss rifle. Okay, I'm going to set my weapons down, and hopefully I'll remember to get them before I have to leave and come back for them. Now it's just time for some busy work. I'm going to loot this place like crazy and then put it all in one location. Nuka Cola over there. What's up? Four fusion cores. Very nice. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. Yep, oh, Star Trek. Oh, three Nuka Cola. That is a good sight. I refuse to be held responsible if you're injured. And here we have Naraya. Quite a collection you've got here. Well, thank you. Didn't plan on getting killed for science anytime soon. You don't have to do anything out of the ordinary. And she's, um, not killing creatures. Um, actually, I take that back. This one looks like it's very dead. So yeah, we won't be helping Scribe Naraya. Don't think that I can agree with her, uh, methods. If you keep hoarding that garbage, you're going to slow us down. Oh, Dance, that's where we thoroughly disagree with one another. Things that I've picked up, eight fusion cores, that's wonderful, 56 2 millimeter electromagnetic cartridges, uh, a lot of other random stuff, and I've put all the junk that I've been picking up in here, but yeah, let's do some selling. Okay, we'll definitely have to come back, and then, yeah, one last trip. Ooh. Have you ever fired a mini Radstorm. Eh, I've lost enough health. I can uh, deal with a rad storm. We've got decent uh, radiation resistance. This is fine. This is fine. Now we can use the workshop here. Let's store a bunch of stuff. Actually, literally store everything. We've got some looting to still do out here. And one more fusion core in here. Guaranteed. The new night I heard about. Glad to have you on and another four fusion cores just came into my inventory. Good to see. Okay, so yeah, this is um this is plenty of fusion cores. 
Okay, I think that's mostly everything. And Radiation Storm is subsiding. Should have enough carry capacity to get everything that's still on the Pridwin over to here. We can link it up then. Hopefully these guys are fine with a random robot coming to pick up some stuff. Okay, so that's everything. We could take, um... I guess one more fusion core won't hurt. So, show no mercy. That's the next quest. And we're not even going to bother. Elder Maxon wants us to go off to a Fort Strong, and that Fort Strong has, well, a bunch of super mutants Radiant. we need to kill. It's not going to happen. Nope, screw you, Maxon. So that means we're not going to be getting any sort of transportation until we get to the teleporter. I think that's everything that we need. Now we just need to get over to Good Neighbor. So, a lot of this is unable to be climbed up in power armor, but there is a tiny little beach right there, which is just what we're looking for. So this will take just a moment. And there we go. Avoid the super mutants to the left here outside the church. And we should be good. Now, Good Neighbor is that direction, but that direction also has at least a couple ghouls and some raiders. Um, could kill the raiders, but the ghouls are harder to deal with. So we're going down our favorite safe road that never has anything on it except when it does. And an uneventful trip to Good Neighbor. Let's go see some memories. Okay, so... This will be just a moment. Um, let's make sure that we put a bunch of stuff down here, out of the way. Probably don't need to take all 15 fusion cores with me into a uh, memory. Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. Technically, the corpse was defiled already. Do you have it with you? Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Ego, fetch me the brain. No? No, I will not. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. So just go through these, and definitely it would be nice to have a sprint function. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. That only took longer than it should have. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the Glowing Sea for a reason. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, so be sure you find a way to get through there with your life intact. Eh, Mari thinks that I am joking when it comes to running in naked. I've done it before, but this time, yeah, let's go in with power armor. So we have our marching orders. We've killed Kellogg, and now we have to go off into the Glowing Sea... And the Glowing Sea is going to be interesting this time because I don't have one of my favorite things to do when it comes to getting around the Glowing Sea. My Mirelurk Egg Omelets are sitting at, yeah, three. Usually I like to go in with 50, so, okay, that's mole rats over there. Not that way, not that way. I definitely like to um, go into the Glowing Sea with more Mirelurk Egg Omelets than I currently have. Because you can essentially sprint through the entire Glowing Sea just fine. Um, just constantly refilling your action points. Don't have to really worry about any of the uh, animals, any of the creatures there. Most everything is simply a melee enemy. The only things that can shoot you, the bloat flies, they're not too common the way I like to go at least. So yeah, there are ways around fighting anything in the Glowing Sea. 
But yeah, I think we're going to head in this way for now. Get back to Hangman's Alley, drop off some stuff. And we'll probably call it there. Oh, good. Overtired from lack of sleep. Screw it. Give me a buff out. So yes, a pretty productive day. We killed Kellogg. We were able to get all his memories, get sent off to the Glowing Sea. And yeah, with that, I think we'll be able to do some uh, light preparation and then jump into that very soon. So I think we do actually have most everything we need to get into the Glowing Sea safely and get through it, talk to Virgil. And unfortunately, we don't have a vertebird because, of course, we can't kill the super mutants over at Fort Strong. So we'll need to also get out of the Glowing Sea. We'll probably take quite a bit of radiation. That is fine. The thing that I'm more worried about is outrunning enemies, running out of pack syringes, and yeah, that's going to be a little terrifying. You can go in with the hazmat suit and just slowly work your way there. Um, obviously, I've seen it done, but to me, that is just such a luck of the draw. Is any strike against you while you're wearing a hazmat suit, no damage resistance. That is terrifying. So yeah, let's figure out just next time what we're going to do when it comes to the Glowing Sea. But until then, I've been Keith. This has been Game to Please with Fallout 4. Conservationists only live once. Thanks for joining me. And until then, farewell.